Welcome to another Heroes of the Storm video. I'm one of my tacos, and we're... I believe this is the first Heroes of the Storm video I've done in a much higher quality since I got the new video card. But I'm not entirely sure. Um, we're doing Abathur again, because I like playing Abathur a lot. He's a hero I like a lot. And we're actually going to do something I don't think I... I'm not sure if I've done on camera before. We're going to do a Locust build. It's my favorite build. It's, it's the funnest to play of, of Abathur. The problem is it's 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 a mixed bag. Um, the build is not strong at all until level 13. You're going all the way up to level 13, basically asking your team to play a 4v5. Really, there's that's all you're doing. But if your team can can survive and keep the game neutral or win up to that point, it it that build immediately starts rocking. Also, I am immediately having bad lag issues again, but probably because Fraps is not taking too kindly to these higher settings that I have set up to it now. But it is only on high. It's not on ultra or anything. It's only on high. It's not even... Yeah, it's not extreme or ultra. It's just high. I need to stop saying the word high. Hi! I became Kirby there for a brief second. Excuse me. I can't even see what my team is mumbling about. I'm just busy doing my job. I'm not building hat, so I'm not having anyone in particular. I prefer to have the melee heroes, of course, when I can, because it's usually easy to get abilities off of them. But... Not always possible, especially when the two melee heroes are in one lane, basically doing skip all. Don't thank you. Don't stand in the bloody thing. I'm stealing this line from somebody else. It wasn't me who said it. First rule of the fighting Gazlo: Don't stand in his stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it mine there. It's a little bit more playable now. I think it just needed time to, to accept the new situation. She's gonna keep poking, you know that, right? She's luring you into a trap. There's no point poking her to death because she has Murden's freaking trait. She'll just heal it off in a second. Not gonna step in those mines, homie. We're gonna take Blistal Fears. Blistal Spores. Because having the mines last longer is actually really helpful here. And the infinite range is nice too, in case we start losing and I have to back up. It's nice to be able to always have the mine range here. We got ourselves a nice little team fight starting early on, three minutes in. We have 32 coins and we have 35 gems, not coins. There's always a little bit of surrealism when you play Abathor and, you, and you're hanging someone and you're looking at their health bar and their mana bar thinking it's yours and like, why, why am I not backing out and leaving? And then you're, it just kind of snaps in your brain, wait, this isn't me, this is a different hero. And their life is insignificant. They're just a vessel for you to, to hat and deal damage through. Whether they live or die is their choice. You have some power to alter it, but ultimately if they die, it's not their... It's... It's essentially never an Abathur's fault if somebody dies. It's possible Abathur could, can, like, let, let me try to explain. An Abathur could have saved you, but it's never you. It's never his fault that you died in the first place, because any any situation that you, that you get yourself into or that that 
exists where you need Abathor's help is a situation you got yourself into in the first place. There's never a situation where Abathor got you into a bad situation. That that just doesn't happen. You 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 get yourself in that situation. I guess you could technically argue that's true for any hero. I mean, there's a time to fight and there's a time to back out like that. I, mean, I could, if my ability was on cooldown, I could have had it him. But I didn't. But it's not my fault he died. Because he was the one there trying to do that fight in the first place, you see? They're gonna turn in, so... I did everything I could there. I'm leaving that lane. Goodbye! Always a tough one at this level. Always a tough one. We'll take Needle Spine just so we can get some more personal hat damage out. Especially with the two melee heroes on the team, it's a good opportunity. The uh, slow on the mines is kind of useless here because they're usually being centered around this particular spot here. Yeah. Not surprised, nobody was really helping for all. My locusts are useless until level 13. All they do have right, all they have right now is improved life, but that's they don't push very hard and they can be stopped by any hero. It's after they get the ranged folk ability that that's when they actually start having push. It's risky with him right there. I was there the whole time doing what I could. Not my fault. And if nobody comes top, I'm gonna have to leave the lane because she that that spider thing. I call it a she. It is a she, but the spider thing the jigger will take the lane. Oh, I almost got him. I protected him from that initial hit. If he if he didn't have one more auto attack in him, he would have lived. Ow! I saw that but couldn't counter it. If they destroy that gate, I have to. Well, no, they don't have a stealth hero, so it's. I'm not really in that much danger. I mean, they can gank me, but I'll see it coming. <laughs> um, don't think we're gonna win this one. We're two keeps down, and it's not even eight minutes in yet, and the kills are one to seven. I think we've lost this one. How many times has this thrall died? Four times. Thrall, thrall, thrall. Dropping dead every second you can. Yeah, this is bad. Um. I don't think they're bossing. They're all coming my way, so let's not be there anymore for the time being. Let's be over here for the time being. Let's start placing mines and let's get over here and help. And we want to take evolution quickly. And we want to take some care or take control of someone I actually know how to use as a hero. No. Oh. And then everyone but Savannah died. It was a lucky clone. Well, at least we fought back the one bot. But if they come looking for me, it's going to be fairly obvious where I am. Oh, and then Savannah died. 
See, I can't just be top helping out because all the lanes need help right now. If, yeah, this is over. General rule, the heroes of the storm. The first team that gets a inner keep wins because at that point, all they need to do is turtle. All they need to do is turtle, and, and minions will win them the game. We we because of the catapults, we essentially have to devote a hero to pushing that lane at all times now, because the minions will eventually always lose it because of the catapults. Now, luckily, I'm here and I'm building mines, which means, or I'm building locust, which means once I hit level 13, I can counter the catapult with my own locust. But we haven't hit that point yet, and we've already lost that keep. Well, at least we got a turn in. Might as well. It's a free cast. Keeps him distracted. Get some free damage and get no real harm to myself. They like turning in on that one there. I might have to leave this lane in a second. They're getting close to my position. I need to stop padding Tracer. That's what I need to do. That ability wax me up. Never, don't hat any heroes that, that, that could counsel your control on them like uh, Dahaka or Tracer. Oh, that's gonna be a team wipe, and I am going topside now. Goodbye. Don't want to be there anymore. I'll just go top and push for a little bit. Don't mind me. And I'll keep putting mines down here because that seems to be the lane that they're interested in. Yeah, at least we got one. Uh oh. They're either gonna start looking for me or they're bossing. I think they're bossing. Yep. They're bossing. Which means I need to be somewhere else that isn't here right now. I'm going back bottom. All I can do is keep going around. You see, like how I'm. I think I'm the least contributed XP right now. Once we hit level 13, that will start changing extremely quickly. It, it all, it relies on level 13 so much. It really does, this build. You've got, you've got to have the bombard. Once you have the bombard, locust, they, they change so much. They actually become freaking useful. Alright, we need pure blunt damage. So I'm going to draw and I'm going to smack it. Ow. Well, at least this was a quick one. I have to ask who our support is. They have two assassins and we have one. They have two, right? They uh, or is it three? No, they have three. They have three assassins and we have we have two. We have Thrall and we have uh, Tracer. I forgot about Tracer for a second. Sylvanas isn't a, an assassin. And my position is revealed, so they can easily come slap my face right now. I'm gonna go up here.
And wait for it. Wait for it. Ba da ba ba da ba. Bomb. So it ends. 